Hello. That was welcome. the creepiest spot. <laughs> given. I, was, I was like, eee. That's just how you look, man. <laughs> I'm ugly as fuck. Uh, I don't want things to pop up on my screen. <laughs> Cold start over here at Hello, Two welcome, Drinking Hello, beer. welcome back to another episode of Two Dudes Drinking Beer. My name is Josh. My name is Alec. And, of course, if you're watching this show, you'll see something a little different at the bottom of your screen. I have three goals set up, whether it be a subscriber goal, a follower goal, or a tip goal. Basically, you're going to pay me to shave my head. Now, I'm a, I'm a big fan of having long hair, uh, but it's hot, uh, and I don't like it. It's also not the same as it was when I was a, a kid. He's over the blonde. That, too. Uh, boys are getting more professional. Love it. No, we're definitely not, but thank you. We're progressing and <laughs> regressing at the same time. We do some things good. We do other things poorly. We've never gotten the intro right. I think we've done it okay a few times, but... <laughs> well, it's because I, I still wait for the audio. Oh, for sure. To come in. That makes sense. So basically, uh, if you guys want to see me shave my head live... Oh, I will well, be doing the shaving. Alec will be doing it, but if you want to see me do it live... Uh, give us money, free money. What's the fastest subscribe way? Subscribe or followers, followers. I think, you sure? Yeah, it's either. I think money would be, because you could just give, I mean, I'm not trying to like. It's 500 total dollars. But, okay, yeah, then definitely not. But you guys money. already got a head start with that, so. Yeah, you you kept that from, is that from total? Does it keep track of it? I don't know how to reset it. Oh, for sure. So. But you just left it where it is? Yeah. Cool. So followers. So that's there. So just sharing sharing the podcast, I've talking never, about it. I've never had a shaved head before. I think it'd be interesting. Oh, we're like going bald, bald, or like... Oh, I said like a seven. Oh, okay. Basically what I, did, what I did for you. Buzz cut. Next goal will be the hot tub stream. Shit, you let me know. We had the, the on the 50th special, we had that pool. Yeah, a little pool of water for our feet. We could just boil some water next time and <laughs> nope. roll around if you want. Nope. Today's 2DD BFFOTD, the fun fact of the day, the being out of the butthole. The butthole. Is that an apple, a potato, and an onion all taste the same if you eat them with your nose plugged. So they did a study. Well, it's commonly known that about 80% of taste is from your smell. Your sinuses, yeah. So this, uh, pe these people did a study where if you block their sense of smell that, and people were blindfolded and they had their nose plugged, they couldn't tell the difference between an apple, a potato, and an onion. The people who could tell the difference could only get it by texture. I was going to say, the only thing that would give that away is the feeling on your mouth. Yeah. We should try that with this next beer we're drinking. We should try to drink the beer with our nose plugged and see. Dude, could you imagine going to a bar and taking a shot and plugging your nose? Like, good. Yeah, you should look like a bitch. Yeah, I like it. And today we're drinking a pink lemonade lager. Super summery beers for super summery summer it's hot as balls guys it's not that hot it's pretty fucking warm with the blue dot on the bottom of the can that way the computer knows which way to send it to on the track that was a very satisfying crack it's like 44 ibus 4.4 percent alcohol oh yeah that's a good crack sound it smells like lemonade oh slow brewing company yeah san luis obispo cheers I love it. It's good. Very weedy. It's 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 very similar to the sle uh, sleeveless tea. Yeah, but it's a little more weedy. It's more creamy. Um, I'd say, and yeah, it's a winter creamy. in Brazil. It's winter in Brazil. Holy fuck! Yeah, that's how hemispheres work. Oh yeah, huh? Well, bundle up with a cup of hot sake or something and hang out with us. It's cold as hell. Minus two Celsius. What's that in Fahrenheit? That's got to be like, what, 30 degrees? Enough for it to melt. Got to be snowing. Or not melt. Enough for it to freeze water. Two Celsius to Fahrenheit. I will pay any American person $20 if they could spell Fahrenheit correctly the first try. <laughs> it's 35 degrees. So just... Just above I uh, freezing. Basically, did I just threw a G in there? So, but you didn't. I I put a G in there too. I thought there was a G. Cause hiked. Yeah, that's what fucked me up. Um, damn. Well, um, I was thinking about doing a blind taste test. I'm pretty sure 
I've run this by Josh before, but I wanted to know. I want to get like a uh, community response. What beers have we drank already that you guys want to see us do like a blind taste test for? We want to do it. It's going to be like beer roulette. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and take we're going to try and test our beer connoisseurship and see if we can guess the right beer. And if we can guess the right beer, we won't get a pie in the face. And if we guess the beer wrong, we get a pie in the face or something like that. Um, just to keep it entertaining for the show for you guys. Because the whipped cream pies are super easy to do, and beer is super easy to drink. All we need to do is guess the right beer. Uh, that's all I want. Of course, to say. blind. Of course, of course, blindfolded. So, oh, I didn't even try the whole. Hang on. <sighs> wow. It really is all gone. Do it. No, oh, I gotta do it. It's not going to be like that efficient because it, it makes you realize like, oh my god, and then it comes right back. The wheat because I have that piercing. So hold it higher up on the bridge. All the, all the wheat is gone. Yeah, and it comes back. And then it comes back, right? That's so weird. I don't like that. It's so weird. As a kid, I always thought that was bullshit. Here I am. As an adult. As an adult, realizing that's the goddamn truth, son. Plug your nose. You won't taste shit. So it, it sounds like ghost hand, <clears throat> like uh, a hot cider. Quintao? Like how we do for Christmas. Mm-hmm. That does sound good. Rum and ginger, you had me. Sugar, serve it up. It does sound really good. Uh, we, we've we've never done a hot drink, have we? I mean, we've done sake. We, have we ever drank sake? No. Not on the show. No. Why would we drink sake? That's maybe, weird. maybe we should do some sake bombs or something. Ew. You don't like sake bombs? No, I don't like sake. Why not? Just, I don't like it. It was too ricey. I just don't like the flavor. <laughs> it's not for me. <clears throat> it's not fermented. Am I right? Do you think that Lucifer would be a good name for a kid? Uh, uh, yeah. It means light bringer in Latin. Does it really? Yeah. That's badass. That is. Uh, I, what's I saw it mean that. in Greek? I don't fucck know. Can I spell Lucifer? Lu L L L You're not even typing sounds? anything. Oh, whoops. L U C I F E R. In Greek. Meaning. But yeah, I was, I forgot what I was looking at. Deus photos. Deus photos. Deus photos. That sounds badass. That sounds like a fucking spell in Harry Potter. Eos photos. I forgot what I was looking at, but I was looking at Lucifer for some reason. I was on the Wikipedia page. Samuel. And I saw that it said it meant Lightbringer in Latin, and I was like, that's fucking cool. First of all, Latin is dope in general. Latin is like the language of like every goddamn exorcism movie ever. The Morning Star, the planet Venus, Lightbringer. Yep. That's badass. Yeah, that's cool. Now, what, is your, what does your name mean? What does your boring ass name mean? Josh. It's biblical. It is actually Joshua. It's so funny, right? Like a lot of names are probably super biblical. Uh, God is deliverance. God is deliverance. Mm -hmm. So Comes basically, the Hebrew name Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeah, that sounds right. Yehoshua. Yoshua. Jumping Jehoshaphats. So yeah, I'm most likely gonna name my firstborn son uh, Lucifer. <laughs> really? Yeah. Would you ever? Adopt? That'll go over well in fucking school. Would you ever adopt? Only if you send him to a fucking Sunday school. <laughs> Even hey better. kids! Hey kids! Welcome, Lucifer. Where are you from? I'm from hell. <laughs> from the pits of hell. And you listen to death metal. My dad beats me with a spoon. <laughs> Name me Lucas, the Jesus father that was a doctor. Hey. That's cool. And you became a, a dentist. Mm hmm An orthodontist. Badass, man. Uh, my name is Matthew. My middle name. I go by Matt a your lot. My name is Alec. My name is Alec, but I go by Matthew. Okay, but your name is Alec. Okay. What does that mean? What does Alec mean? He's an actor. 
But Matthew, it, my name was supposed to be Matthew Alec, but it's not. And uh, yeah, Matthew. Defender of men, protector of mankind. So you'd rather take Matthew over the defender of men. Well, Alec means defender of men, protector of mankind. Alex, it's yeah, because it's short for Alexander. But uh, I know, I know what my name is on uh, Urban Dictionary. It means a stupid person. Um, but my full name is in in Greek. If you break it up in the, in the Greek meanings, it's going to be the defender of man, gift of God. Poet, artist, gift of Yahweh, gift of God, gift of God, which is Yahweh's the first God. Yahweh, <laughs> Yahweh. <clears throat> Let me check my name on Urban Dictionary just for the shit of it. Then, oh, today's word is memory wank. <laughs> Awesome. The art of remembering and arousing occurrence of some <laughs> porn you watched while masturbating. Often handy if you have no porn or you're in the shower. Been there. Um, Jesus Christ, this is a long one. This is not the one I remember. <clears throat> On Urban Dictionary, the top definition right now for my name. He is characterized by one of the most real people you will know. He may hide who he truly is at first and may pass as an asshole or someone who will pass you over. Or one may be scared to talk to him because he is weird. But if you take the time to understand, he is one of the sweetest people you know. He is the most caring and loves because he cares about with all he has. He is understanding and when, he comes, when it comes to effort for someone he loves, he won't put a little effort uh, but all, of, all he has into making you happy. Uh, he may think he is a self-centered asshole, but even he doesn't know himself. He doesn't realize he is the best person anyone can be. Your life will immediately be better when uh, he steps into it. He gives warmest hugs, best smiles, and will warm your heart. He's fun to hang out with and will make you laugh at some dumb stuff either that he either does or says. He puts aside judgment and has no hatred for anyone unless... They have done a great deed uh, of wrong towards him. This is a biblical description. Uh, it's an urban dictionary description. I know, but it's, but that means somebody wrote it, and then everyone else was just like, yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is a human. And like, how many people have read this and was just like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Upvote. A lot. He is a human in May... Uh, have even made some mistakes in the past, but he knows how a human should be treated. He has so much to offer. He's all around one of the best people you will know, and life itself will be dull without him. Damn, a lot of people like this motherfucker. Sit. <laughs> right under, right under memory. <laughs> it's just right above memory wank. Word of the day. Oh yeah, the top definition goes first. Mm -hmm. Josh's are an all-around awesome guy. They're typically quiet at first, but once you get to know him, you'll find he has a great personality and a great sense of humor. Once you find a Josh, you'll love him forever. <laughs> Josh's are also total savages at comebacks and roasts. Honestly, these are more accurate than our hor horoscopes. <clears throat> I hate horoscopes. Everyone thinks I'm an asshole, and then they're like, yeah, he's okay. Who died? You. <clears throat> Who died? Who died? <clears throat> Not me. Let's look up, uh, oh, I don't want to out anyone else's name. There's a lot, though. Yeah, it's all people trying to get their definitions made, essentially. It's hilarious. This is the one, this is the one I remember reading in high school. That was the most popular. Alec, the coolest person in the world, smart, funny, sexy, just com completely amazing. Most girls would want him on the sack and can't resist him being around uh, can't resist being around him. Well, what's that like to dislike ratio there? Um, three to one. It's bad. Let's look at the first one. I didn't even consider that one for the first one. Uh, does that play a role in it? Because this is like six. Yeah, it's the most liked one. Makes sense. Highest uh, ratio. Okay. This definition for Josh is an unknown creature that takes a humanoid form. 
Uh, that's the one I would have wrote. <laughs> this creature has similar properties of what one would apply to <laughs> Batman and the fact that it actually wears black, <laughs> fights crime, and has an incredible voice. I will Some agree with the voice. Some people even think that black. it may be Death himself. Creature usually dwells on the planet Earth. And, and names his son Lucifer. What the fuck? That's badass. And only one can be alive at one time. Damn, so you had to kill all the other Joshes for the birthright of the name? There was that... Baby in the womb that you ate, right? That battle that that kid won. Raul wants us to look up his name. Oh, I got it already. <clears throat> Raul is strong, confident, loving, caring, protecting, selfless, wise, intelligent, great friend, honest, never shy, genuine. A lot of adjectives. <laughs> he could be jealous, but because he sees the best in you and he believes in you. He could be over overprotective... Okay, this is someone's girlfriend writing this. <laughs> this is someone's middle school girlfriend being like, uh, he treats me different, uh, but it, no one understands us because when we're alone, he's so nice. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. Uh, because he knows that people take advantage of people. He is the life of the party and knows when to not be the center of attention, but he always is noticed. If you meet one, don't be dishonest or else he'll greet you and keep going. Or else he'll greet you? Okay. Oh, he'll basically ignore you. Greet you and keep going. Uh, he will care about everyone who gave him time, and he'll give you time. Raul is like a wolf, smart and fierce. Raul will know what to do. <laughs> I like the second definition better, because it says he usually likes to eat people's cookies. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the girlfriend when they first got together. <laughs> And then she's just like, oh, damn. A total hottie. Damn. Raul, lover, sexy. Synonyms for Raul. Some of the, the first trending phrase of today is watermelon sugar. <coughs> What's that? That's period it's a song. Blood. But it's period blood, right? Uh, a word that has simply lost all meaning throughout history. Its definition has faded into obscurity after being trending on... Urban Dictionary for almost two years, but eventually the the word will phase from existence, and this is how the website will die. This is how everything dies. <laughs> That's the <laughs> the top definition. You know what's funny? You know what would be a fun fucking challenge? Is to come on here, find trending words, and then write a song about it, like Watermelon Sugar. Number two is, it's 2021, and uh, why the actual fuck is this word still on trending? <laughs> Number three. The words that everyone who made a def definition for after or close to November 16th, 2019, only did it to feed their fantasies of what Harry does behind closed doors, despite it not being necessary to go that deep to uh, enjoy the song. Oh, I thought I was talking about vagina still. Number four, the name for a type of street heroin that originated in <laughs> southern Georgia in the late really? 1990s. It is famous for its initial fruity taste when originally placed under one's gums. Damn. I don't know yeah. they did heroin like that. 1990 Georgia heroin. Damn. E11. Oh, what's the song name? Ghetto Spread. Urban Dictionary has some nice words. Hmm. Edward Forty Hands is uh, trending right now. I don't know how that's not. Oh, I bet you everyone's watching How I Met Your Mother. Uh, I don't think anyone's watching that show. I think everyone's watching that show. There's, there's got to be a way, right? What do you think is the most watched show on, like, Netflix? Friends. And, well, like, of all streaming platforms is what I was going to get around to. Friends. What do you think Friends is? Let me see if I could uh, find numbers on that. Because people, I mean, I know people that just put it on and just fucking leave and go do other shit. And so just have it as background. So they're not watching it. That still counts as a view, though. Um, 2020... Ozark? Ozark. 30 million viewers. That's a lot. I've heard of it. And then Lucifer, number two, <laughs> with 18, 18 million. That show was bad. The Crown, 16 million. And Tiger King, 15 million. I like how the spot... As of 2020. The spot from number one to number two is like... A huge difference. Not comparable at all. Yeah, it's more than... It's almost more than double. And then from first to fourth is double. Rush B. Suke Blatt. Suke Blatt. Phrase used exclusively in CSGO by angry Russians for yeah. getting all sense of logic. Sick and blat means fuck shit. it. Pimp nails? Ooh. 
Look up Sandy Larry or Cleveland Steamer. Long pinky nails used to scoop and snort cocaine. Nice. I had a substitute teacher that had a coke nail. Everyone has a coke nail. I don't. By the way is trending. Oh, and on that note, while we're on the subject, since you mentioned it, concerning that, I can wait. That's dumb. How the fuck... How the fuck does someone soy face? See, that's what I want to see. Soy face? The face a new male makes when taking a selfie with a mouth gaping open. Hmm. That's how I smile for pictures. Soy face. I go, that's called soy face? I guess. That's the top definition. Also known as glory hole face. That's funny. Joe's always on Instagram taking selfies with that awkward soy face. Just keep your mouth closed. <clears throat> I don't like my smile. I think I look better with an open mouth. Well, have soy face. Yak shaving? <clears throat> or glory hole mouth. Call it, glory, call, it, call it what you want. Any seemingly pointless activity which is actively, actually necessary to solve a pro- Actually, God damn it. Actually necessary to solve a problem which solves a problem which... Several levels of resurrection. I already know what an Alaskan pipeline okay. is. What's an Alaskan pipeline? It's when you freeze poo and use it as a dildo. Uh, yeah. Cleveland steamers when you poop on somebody's chest. What else should we look up? Sandy Larry. I'm not familiar, but it's something probably sexual. Again. There's a few from There's a few from Rick and Morty. There's something about a golden cathedral. I think. I don't know. See if someone updated that shit. Nope, no Golden Cathedral. Text um, message? Uh, missed call, actually. Whatever. Wasn't important. They didn't leave a voicemail. They always call me. Uh, I have, I think I told you, I have a, a, a Mexican family who calls me pretty often telling me that their uncle or aunt died and they need money for the funeral. And I'm like, sorry, bro. And then uh, the other people who text me or call me all the time is like, hey, you're late for work. You're scheduled at 3. And I'm like, I don't work there. And they're like, yeah, you do. You work at 3. I was like, I quit. <laughs> so That's funny. They can fucking s- figure that out. I mean, here's the thing, bro. I've had this phone for like months now. And they've texted me several, several times. If there was an issue, if there was an issue with a worker or a dead relative, they would have figured it out by now. They would have figured it out by now. So you'd be surprised about how <laughs> bad people so are. So he just hasn't ever shown up to work and given the new number and they just haven't fired his ass? How often do they call you? Once a month, twice a month. So honest mistakes. They probably just fucking don't remember because a lot of people don't remember. Because then he just comes into work and they're just shit like, like that. Yeah. They're just like, hey man, you just bailed. What happened? Yeah. A month is a good amount of time for people to forget shit like that. Except for me. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I'm smart. Your memory's getting worse, though. The next time I saw them, I'd be like, hey, what's your phone number? And then I'd I'd fix it in the system. Which is why I'm saying, why haven't they done that yet? Because they're not me. Because you're running shit. I mean, I would. What do you think Uh, you'd be good at? Like, if you had to be put in charge of one thing... Like your job for the rest of your life, you're in charge of it. Mm. What do you think you'd be like the authority on? In general, uh, whatever. Anything. Anything. And try to try to just understand. Like you could say what you what you like, what your dream is, or whatever. But like, what do you think? Like. You would just you would just be good at making sure all the pre sharpened pencils are sharpened just enough so that they don't break in shipping. By far the most interesting answer that I would have ever expected. You're welcome. <clears throat> Claps all around. Damn. What would you pick? I'm pencil manager. <laughs> pencil manager. Mm, if I had to pick one thing, I say I think I'd be really good at like being a manager, at like a, like scheduling or something. Like I think I'd be really good at that. Like people would be like, "Hey, I need this day off," and like 
I think I'd be more um, accommodating than most managers. And I think uh, I would go about that in a more tactful way that would make it so people are comfortable coming in on their days off or or getting the time off they need. I always think about that. I feel like I'd Depends be... Depends on how much staff you I have. Feel like, I feel like I'd be really good at talking to people about like, hey, I need you to work on Christmas. Like, please... And they'd be like, okay, fine. Like, I mean, that's why you just ask them and say, hey, it's a paid holiday. You get overtime. Yeah, sure. I mean, you asked. I'm Incentivize it. It also depends on how many people you have on your staff. Let's say 40. 40 people? That shit's easy. That's what I'm saying, because there's so many people. I'll do it with 12. If there's like four people, it's tough yeah. for decisions. Do it with, do it with 12. Because that's what I did. And that shit's not fun. <laughs> One person, two people go on vacation, you're fucked. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like, I think I'd be good at managing. I'd be good at managing that. Like, is that a problem? Yes. I think it's a problem that I could easily manage. So, Wasabi, you're a tour guide? You are good at telling people where to go eat. <laughs> I will confirm that right now. Where should we go to dinner? Good question. And let me let me give you a preference. Let me give you some some idea. I like eating food. With like a fork and a knife and silverware. So most foods. So most food. But like I like food that takes time to eat because you get to enjoy it and it it it's not just I woof I woof down food, I eat fast. So if there's something that kind of forces you to eat slower or because it's his pick today. It is. Yeah. You decide what we eat. Cool. But I will be open to ideas from wasabi. Uh, or the world's greatest man ever Raul Like come on He's so kind hearted and loving <laughs> right. What's your budget? My budget? I usually go like 40 bucks Like Want to stick around I don't want to go Like more than 20 bucks a person There you go Ideally <laughs> <clears throat> Go through your brain catalog, find them food. How far are you willing to go? Ten. Just filter this down. Ten to fifteen miles. Fifteen miles being the cap. So to like more park. No. Well, from here, that's like twelve. Yeah. So see me. <laughs> um. While we're. While we're on the topic of food, this is actually something I have written down, so it's perfect. <clears throat> have you seen... Oh, yeah, he's going to come over. He is? Well, I have his massage gun. Oh, for sure, yeah. Let's go Let's go to dinner. <clears throat> Shit, good. Um, so, um, have you seen any ads or memes or posts on social media lately about people complaining about like Uber Eats and delivery fees and all that? Uh, there's this one guy who reads this post. It's like, oh my God, like my $8 boba cost me 25 bucks. And it's like the delivery fee is so much. And he created this service. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Specifically. Yeah. I see a lot of people mimicking that. <clears throat> and I think they're just doing it to post a clout or, you know, how when people do something and it gets popular, people do it thinking that they're just doing a trend. <laughs> I think that's what they're doing. But mm -hmm. I was thinking about this, and I was like, yeah, that's just basic economics. And it really pissed me off because I was, like, really getting into the nitty-gritty of it. And I was like, nobody wants to pay. <clears throat> nobody wants to drive their car to go get you a $4 boba or four, not $4, $4 Starbucks coffee and then drop it off here to your house when gas is almost $5 a gallon again. Right? It's one of those things, like, it's for sure delivery is a convenient thing. But not something that's like meant for kids to like just order food at home and like enjoy or whatever. Like it's like if you have a big order, like get it delivered or just like pizza or like a catering service. It's like one of those two things. That's all I wanted to say because I, I see a lot of people posting online Damn. complaining. What? Delicious burger. So it's patty, cheese, ham, bacon, pepperoni, lettuce, tomato, and an egg for $3. Let's go. 
Holmes from Brazil. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> that sounds delicious. Wasabi, where's a place like that? <laughs> Find me a place like that. That sounds bomb. <clears throat> but I just think it's funny because it's like people are always um, complaining about shit and like not looking at the numbers and like I think if you like paid attention like even a little bit you'd wake up and be like oh no shit like McDonald's only costs four dollars I should ride my bike there <laughs> like not everyone has a bike but you have enough money for Uber Eats and and DoorDash I do I don't really have a bike. You have my bike. I, I mean... The, you have a car. <laughs> you have food in the fridge. Not all the time. You meal prepped. <laughs> Today, yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I ran out yesterday. I didn't have anything yesterday. And did you decide to Uber eat something? No, I ate beef jerky at work. Mm-hmm. That's what I had would you, all day. Would you ever DoorDash beef jerky to your house? Because that's what these motherfuckers are doing. Maybe, yeah. If I was high off my really? ass, okay. off my rocker, couldn't drive, I'm like, oh, I want some beef jerky, and just 7-Eleven post made it. You live less than a mile from a 7-Eleven. You fucking know damn well I'm not walking my ass to 7-Eleven. I'm not you, walking anywhere. Granted, you did give away the skateboard. I ha- It's in someone else's car right now. But if you but wanted... I have it back. You wa- oh, really? Yeah. If you wanted beef jerky, you could get that beef jerky. Yeah. I, was, I used to walk to 7-Eleven all the time when I had no car. We're different people. You're used to doing that shit back in the day where you'd ride your bike literally everywhere. Seriously. And walk. I've been sedentary my entire life. I'm not walking to get beef jerky. I'd rather fucking starve. But now, I can have it delivered to my house. Obviously, I wouldn't <laughs> just get beef jerky alone. So A how single much? pack of fucking... Jack Slings beef jerky. That's like nine dollars. So beef jerky costs about nine bucks. Yes. How much do you think de- it would cost to get it delivered to your house? Seventeen. Would you pay seventeen dollars for beef jerky to get delivered? Absolutely. To you? Damn. It turns my forty-five dollars sushi order into seventy-three. It also takes your twenty-minute wait to an hour and a half. Not always. No. Not. Always, but it can. It's it's been. It's happened once, and my twelve times of ordering food online. But it happens probably to a lot of people. One in twelve. What about those times when the delivery people drop off the food, take the picture, leave, and then come back with their shirt pulled over their head so the camera can't see them, take the food and go home? Like that's. I am downstairs waiting for that person. What? What if you paid seventeen dollars for beef jerky? And some motherfucker did that to you. I would just get my money back. It's beef jerky. I'm not hard pressed about it. Really? I'd be so pissed. I'd chase the motherfucker was, down. I'd chew a beef jerky stick and I'd beat him with a half eaten jerky. If it was my $70 sushi order, then I'd be fucking pissed. Mm-hmm. But if it's my $17 bag of beef jerky and he took a piece, I wouldn't be mad. Not a piece. Stole it. If you if you if got, there was four pieces in this one bag of jerky and he took one, I wouldn't care. That is not what I'm saying, and you know that. I'm saying if he ate all four pieces out of four pieces in your beef jerky bag, he can have it. That's fine. I'll get my money back. No, but the product's been eaten. Not by me. And if I have proof, what it what what restaurants is there anything out there that um, is a chain that we would know? Because I've noticed. Oddly enough, it's different out here. I think restaurants prioritize phone orders. Like every time I go to Jersey Mike's, I always call in my order or go online. And then it'll be like, uh, there'll be like 20 minute wait. And I'll go and I'll leave immediately after placing the order and it'll be ready every time. Like five, 10 minutes. Most of the time, there's no one in the store. Even when it is busy, though, like when there's a line. Oh, yeah, they do usually two at the same time. You're just unimpressed by everything, aren't you? Yeah, because we fucking did that at Pizza Rev. It's not that impressive. I'm just saying, like, I'm saying it, I think they prioritize that as opposed to prioritizing deliveries. Okay, so you have to you have to think of it like this. As <laughs> soon as you get an online order, it's basically the same thing as having a customer in front of you. Mm-hmm. So you, you make it at that same time, like, as if that person's in front of you. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, with the store full of people lined to the door, I've ordered it. Showed up immediately because I live right there. So by the time I drive down the hill and drive down the street a little bit, five you, to ten minutes. You already had your place in line. 
their sub was made at the same time as someone else's that's in physical line. It's not like they hold sure, on. But I that, have but that seven line was probably orders. there already. So let's just say there's a line at the door the entire time. Because when it prints, it's your turn at the window. It's the same thing. Oh, you're saying I bas- I essentially cut the line because it's not physically in line. Yes. Oh, okay. It's basically the same thing as if you had already waited in line. Because you still have to wait for the pickup. Whenever. I have to drive. Yeah. It's the same thing. Okay. Just but there is metaphorically. That, but, but there is that immediate, like, they're on it. Which is what I'm... Which is all I'm trying to say is that like yeah because as soon as it prints it feels more urgent when you say I'm coming in to pick it up they're like all right start it now because they don't want to have to have you wait for it when you get there it's it's the same as soon as the ticket prints for an online order or if it's written down that's basically the same thing as you physically telling them their order Mm. and them getting it ready at that moment got it I'd agree okay. I'd agree with that. All I'm saying though is that like I think yeah, it's it's faster to order online or through the phone than it is in person. Hundred percent. Yeah. Very convenient. Just a different medium. It's all the same shit. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause a lot of yeah. It is definitely different in, in Brazil, I bet, but it, it feels more inclined to like order and pick up than it is to go there and order because it's like you also have to figure where or where do most of your sales come from so online if if 70 percent of your total sales come from online orders prioritize that yeah that's where all your money comes from Mm -hmm. you can give fuck less about the 10 percent that come from uh people waiting in line physically in store orders I get that. That's why, like, Domino's storefronts are so small. Yeah. There's, like, one to two people waiting at any given point. Though. Yeah. But, Most. But, that's, but that's all it'll be. All del- How long do you think it took them to figure that out? How many big stores do you think they had to buy before they're like, yo. Ten. We, <laughs> yo, we need, like, a bench. <laughs> Not. And the rest is many. the kitchen. They figured that shit out really fast. I would assume. I'd hope. I fucking hope. But then you also have the family pizza chains, like out here, our toppers, <laughs> and all like the fucking where you go after your soccer games on Saturdays. What are what are some famous pizza chains that you can name off the top of your head? Famous? Yeah, just I mean, oh, let's let's say exclusive. Papa John's, Domino's, Pizza Hut. Okay, ex- exclusive to like California, like toppers. Toppers. Like the family owned, like you said. Round table shakies. Toppers. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking there was one more that I was trying to think of, and I was hoping you would know, but I can't think of it. CZ's? No. It was like a... PMD's? Never heard of that one. Pizza Man Dan's? Oh, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> PM- it was Pizza Man Dan's. PMD. That's that's local up to here. Um, You said one time that billionaires shouldn't exist. Yeah. I want you to explain that. Because you know how much money, how big like a billion is? No. Do you know how many, how long a billion seconds is? Josh, have I ever held a billion dollars or lived a billion seconds? It's still a... Then no, I don't know what it is. A billion seconds is 31 years. So I haven't lived, oh my God. 31.7 years. Almost 32 years. Almost 32 years is one mathematically, billion seconds. Mathematically, you just round up to 32. Be like, keep the change. Because yeah. it doesn't fucking matter after that billion. How long is a how long is a billion hours? Uh, damn. Give me a guess. Hang on. If a billion seconds, billion seconds. Don't is, don't don't show me. Hang is on. thirty? I haven't googled it yet. Okay. Is thirty two years? Is, so just times sixty. So six times three is eighteen. A hundred eighty thousand years. That your final answer? Because yep. I know you're wrong. Okay. 180,000 years, to be clear. 114. So oh, okay, so I, I shot over. You need to multiply it by 60 and then 60 again. Because there's 60 seconds in uh, a minute and then 60 seconds in an hour. Or 60 oh, minutes in an hour. But I only, I shot over, so I just multiplied too much. Yes, your math was incorrect, but you had the right idea the first time. Damn, though. 
So a billion seconds is 100,000 years. No, a billion hours. A billion hours. Excuse me. It's 100,000, 114,000 calendar years. Jesus. Jesus. And that's just time. It, how many how many years has we have we been around the planet? How how long has Earth been around? Hang on. A couple hundred million. So how many billions of hours has the Earth been around? A lot. It's been around a lot. A lot. About a couple trillion hours. Well, how many? Okay, a couple trillion hours. Okay. And all that time, to this point, all this exists now. Yeah. It took a couple trillion hours. Casual. Just a couple trillion. You know what's so crazy is that makes it so much more easily digestible to me. Yeah, because because a trillion every, everyone experiences time. Not everybody experiences money. A trillion is just a fucking bailout package. Like yeah. for a government, it's like R- the, the legislature. Fucking it just hit here where if you have a kid, you'll get an extra three hundred dollars a month. <laughs> he says, "You guys want to look up some war crimes? Check out Brazilian pizza." <laughs> I will look up some Brazilian pizza, uh, but go ahead. Uh, what did you say? Just recently, uh, checks got sent out for if you have a kid, you get an extra three hundred bucks a month mm-hmm. per child mm-hmm. until the end of the month or mm-hmm. end end of the year mm-hmm. for COVID. So I mean, did it cost a trillion dollars? I don't fucking know. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it costs a lot of money. But like a billion is such a fucking big number. Like. <clears throat> Just to count to it would take you a third of your life, nonstop. With a money counter. Well, just a, counting seconds. I like to use how big a billion is in time rather than money. Because everyone experiences the time. Yeah. Because 90% of people will live to 31.7. What about the other 10? <laughs> Fuck them. Sid's died young in an accident <laughs> just sids <laughs> they all died as babies <laughs> couldn't help it infant death syndrome can't be helped random accidents died when you're 12 fucking random chance no, no please most people will live to 31 years old and we're almost there so we've almost hit green we've almost hit billion seconds damn and you know what's so crazy on top of that is like what about when you're talking about like cells, right? Like in your body, there's like billions of cells in your body. Mm-hmm. Trillions. Sh- shouldn't you? Shouldn't you have a trillion cells in your body? You or, do. But like, if billionaires and trillionaires shouldn't exist, I own a billion <sighs> to trillion cells. That's different, and you know it. I know. I'm just trying. We've both trying you to get a rise out of you. Well, it's not working. They're both different, and you know that. A million dollars is a lot of money. And fuck, just Googling pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you have my undivided attention. A billion dollars is more than enough to end world hunger. A billion? Yes. So do it. Bezos? I don't have a billion dollars. Well, whoever does. All four of them should. No, greed is too bu- greed is too much. What money if, is too nice. What if all the billionaires divided their money up equally and gave it to people? Wouldn't that have the same effect as inflation? Uh yeah. The dollar would be worth nothing. So if inflation mi- is also relative to social class? No. So if it's supply and demand. But think of, okay, but like if all of a sudden everyone has a demand for a Ferrari, Ferrari's going to jack up their prices. Yeah. So it's, it's not even. Therefore, your $1 is worth less. Because if, let's, okay, so if Jeff Bezos <laughs> decided to give everyone in the world a million dollars, he could. Yes. No problem. Everyone has a million U.S. dollars now. Mm-hmm. Even people in Europe, people in Africa, people in South America, Australia. Wait, wait, wait. When you say the world, 
You include those other countries? Yes. No fucking way. All 7 billion people where their currency is worth less than ours. I was being facetious. They now have a million US dollars. Everyone in the world. Every single person. Babies man, included. woman, and child, yes. Well, babies aren't children. They babies. are. Babies. They all have a million dollars. Mm-hmm. The value of that dollar is tanking. Mm-hmm. That's my point. Yes. So bear with me. I'm a bi- I'm a millionaire. Everyone's a millionaire. Yes. I go to McDonald's. I want a McChicken. It's going to cost you $10,000. Boom. So inflation is linked to population, social class, money having. Because the money's it's printed. Not, it's not social class. But what's, key, what's the factor keeping that down? Because if you print a bunch of money, inflation goes up, yeah? It's the circulating supply. But we have, this, we have all this money, but we could still get, probably not, actually, fuck McDonald's. They change their prices. I go to Jack in the Box. I got a chicken sandwich. That shit, shout out to Jack in the Box. They still have a dollar menu. Uh... Are you double checking that fact? <laughs> no, I will want to know. Uh, a billion days is two point seven three nine years. Two point, sorry, two million seven hundred thirty nine thousand seven hundred twenty six years. <laughs> two point years? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, no. If uh, if a billion days is a hundred eighty, a hundred whatever thousand years, <laughs> like two years. <laughs> um, okay. Bear with me, though, because this is, like, kind of a crazy thought I just realized. Okay, go ahead. Inflation. Yes. Describe inflation. Uh, with my economics degree that I didn't earn, I cannot tell you what inflation is. I just know it as an idea. Tell me what inflation is, because I want to understand The value of from. money is valued less. Because? There's... Uh, here. I, I know what it is... But could I fucking tell you it? No. I'd Google it, but I have pizza on my laptop and it <laughs> pissed you off. <laughs> it didn't piss me off. I know, I was joking. But <laughs> it's always for the joke, Josh. The action of inflating something, that's the inflation of a balloon. The, ge- <laughs> <laughs> the general increase in prices and fall in purchasing value of money. Say that again because I'm stupid. General increase in prices and fall in the purchasing value of money. So prices go up, but the value of a dollar goes down. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a seesaw then. One clearly affects the other. I mean, prices can go up and your value of your money can still go up. So not always, but most likely, yes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> the average income in the United States right now is $31,000 a year. Around there, yeah. Um, so, the average income sort of dictates... Also, wow, you'd figure... Well, I guess it is only like a 1% thing. You also have to figure that if Mr. Bezos didn't give everybody a million dollars all that money is in one spot we'll, we'll, we'll get there we'll get there okay um i was just noticing like damn if bezos has a billion dollars which he does hey <laughs> um if bezos has a billion dollars which he does you'd figure that would skew the 31 um thousand dollars a year per american household but i'm considering if it's only because he's just one person against 300 million Americans, or if he just all really has his shit uh, on a different island or something. There's also a lot of people that only make like 10 bucks a year. In America? Yeah. Who? Bezos? Because all of his shit's on the island? <laughs> I mean, not everybody makes like... They could just get like... You can't survive on $10 a year. That's bullshit. They don't, that's just their reported income. I don't fucking know what they do. That means... It's I mean, like one hour of work, and then they don't get a job for the rest of their year. That You don't have to, re, you don't have to even report that. You, you, you only Those numbers report. still exist, though. That's why the average is what it is, because that's how averages work. That's you have the high end and the low bullshit, end, then. and that brings it down. There's no way those books aren't cooked. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Have you ever seen a mafia movie? No. Cook the books. Make the numbers look right. 
that's just how it works though that's how averages get so low all right but a billion should ramp up those averages have you seen the the bell curve the standard deviation yes there's the, two there's two humps in the bell curve there's a there's one there's a low class there's a middle class upper class and then an extremely wealthy class it literally just goes like that look it up it's a two it's a two hump camel i saw a ted talk on it that's the bell curve there's there should be one with two then it's not the bell curve because the bell curve is in the shape of a bell. No shit. Bells don't have two humps. No shit. So you have the really high end, which is not a lot of percent. And then you have the really low end, which is not a lot of percent. Oh, this is a really long TED Talk. They usually are. But they call it the camel's hump. And what they're saying is that there's people who, there's a lot of people who make this much money a year. So there's a lot of people who make $31,000 a year because that's average. You're referring to this one? Yeah. <clears throat> so positive skew, that's. Um... So it looks like the bell curve is what it averages out to, but there's still those two, those two camel positive humps. Positive skewness and negative skewness. Yeah. So the blue one and the green one. Are the the sum is the is the is the, is the sum curve. of the blue and the green. Yes. But realistically, there's a blue one and a green one, and a huge dip in the middle. So there's a huge dip on the end, um, a really solid uh, middle class, uh, a really weak upper class, a really strong super upper class, and then it dips to nothing. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so. It is the bell curve, yes, but it is also a two-hump camel because that is the sum of those two extremes, rich and poor. And even, it's also logarithmically, right? So, like, if you look at an EQ, I know this sounds ridiculous, but if you look at an EQ uh, graphic equalizer, it goes zero to 20 decibels, 20 uh, to, like, 40, 80, 100, and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It's logarithmic, right? So it gets smaller as it goes up. Um... It's the same thing with those charts to where it's like, as soon as you get to a certain number, it doesn't even matter how high or how low you are anymore. It's negligible mathematically. But at the same time, like... That's what we're looking at right now. But at the same time, there are people living on the, the, the low end, the middle end, and the high end. And on each part um, is the majority, right? So like... There's still a majority of, of poverty and still a majority of middle class that can't afford because where, where it meets in the middle class exactly is, is, the, is the sum of those two extremes. So even the middle class gets fucked. And, and there's poverty and middle class now and both of those people get fucked. So unless you fall right in between here or super wealthy... There's, there's two groups that are suffering and two groups that are thriving at all times. And it just averages out to be in the middle because that's how graphs work. Because it, it logs the, the least and the most, and of course it's going to end up somewhere in, in between. Well, it's just but in between are actual human lives that are, like, dying. It's just combining <laughs> two. This beer is fake. Why is it fake? It's been a while since we've seen you, Tony Top Sausage. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, brother. We're talking about inflation <clears throat> and why we can't give everybody a million dollars. Which, which again, back to that. <clears throat> if so, the money's printed, right? Because they always say if we print more money, it'll cause inflation, which is clearly bullshit. Because if we print more money, but we give it all to one person, it won't cause inflation because it's all being held in that one spot that you're talking about. Yeah. But if you spread out the wealth. It's because that one person doesn't always spend it. Sure. Well, it doesn't spend it in every market. Right? So rich people buy five-star restaurants, dinners, 
luxury cars, There's mansions. No those are those are the markets. Those markets are hard to enter, and they're a, 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 it's it's a it's a really high stakes bid. You gotta you gotta you gotta ball to get in. You know. Mm-hmm. So if you have a million dollars, you can't buy a five million dollar house. You have to have ten million dollars for a five million dollar house. That's the market. Well, you don't buy it outright. Whatever. The money is there. It's expendable. You give everybody $1 million, everything that is now $1 million. I'm pretty sure Futurama did a special on this where everything was $300. Anyway. Oh, did. Yeah, right? Some good math. Um, What's up? Our Australians are back. Aussies! What's up, bro? Um, Mr. Chode. That's fair that this beer is fake. It's from... Uh, San Luis Obispo, which is basically a fake city in California. Uh, California. Um, but we're doing a summertime beer special. So if everybody had a million dollars, your dollar chicken sandwich is now $10,000. Yeah, it would be relative to that million dollars. And then when everyone loses their million dollars, for one reason or another, the price will go back down. Yeah, because no one would be able to afford it. Because no one could afford it. So inflation... It's dumb. It's 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 dumb because it's all just theoretical. I get it, like, but that's just companies maximizing their profit. The chicken won't be the same price, though. Why not? Oh, because they would charge more for it. Okay, but why would they charge more for it? Because everybody has money, and they know they could fucking. Well, we're not going to give you this. So there's the, so there's no ledger stating chickens must be this price at this time. It's a it's a number that is founded based on we can make more money it's off business. these people. Yeah, yeah. It's like when the gold rush happened in California, and they're like, "Do you want toast?" They're like, "Yeah, three dollars for a piece of toast." Okay, do you want butter on it? Yeah, five dollars. Why? Because if you want it, that's what you got to pay. <clears throat> that's that's the whole fifty fifty would be fake chicken. I agree. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, no one, no one's going to Jack in the Box for their dollar chicken sandwich because they want real chicken. And that's what I'm saying. Is like those markets exist because those millionaires can afford that veal, that steak, the baby duck pussy lips tacos. <laughs> what? Look it up. But like those markets exist because people who have money are rich can go to those restaurants can spend that money but now everyone can go to a five-star restaurant does that mean that the five-star restaurant increases their prices or do we yes. or do we see that um uh, everyone increases their prices because everybody the, would because the market but that's the thing is like the market's only determined by who spends money where right so it still wouldn't even matter until we see where the money goes I, I literally Googled baby duck pussy, pussy lips top. tacos, and I get this picture from Ron White on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. No face mask, no tacos. Yeah. Ron White's a comedian. He, he, he found a place that serves baby duck pussy lip tacos, and he says they're really good, and they're really expensive. Okay. It's in Malibu if you want to go. <laughs> no. Um... <clears throat> But the market would only be determined, the markets could only theoretically still raise their prices if the money is spent there in the first place. So if we all get a million dollars, what's the first thing everyone's going to do with it? Crash the housing market. Why? Because I think Everyone's going to try and buy a house? People would upgrade, yeah. So everyone's going to try and buy a house. Yeah. So first one to buy a house, fuck it. It's the stock housing, market. Housing, vehicles, and Drugs. luxuries. Yeah. So not chicken sandwiches. Not chicken sandwiches. But so theoretically still, the chicken sandwich would stay the same price. All the luxury items would fucking shoot up. Yeah. And then once everyone get, gets all the... Like when toilet paper happened... But the, it doesn't just affect a single industry. It affects them I'm all. I'm not saying it does. I'm saying... I'm, I'm saying what one will be the most impacted. I still think all of them would, but housing... The auto automotive industry and luxury industry. But that's the shitty thing, right? Because when we talk about stuff like chicken sandwiches, all we're saying is that poor people can now afford to eat and then we raise the prices on them again. That's how it's always been. I know, but but that's what it is. When it plays out, 
and they raise the prices on those chicken sandwiches, you're saying it could solve world hunger. And I'm telling you it can't because it would literally just raise the prices of the chicken sandwiches. So they'd still be like, whoever spent their money on luxury cars, hope you can eat those fucking tires, bro. Because guess what? Chicken sandwiches are now 10 grand, and if you can't eat, you can fucking die. And we don't give a fuck either way because economics will work it out as long as you check it on paper. Yeah, I mean, it all, it all figures itself out. That's what I'm saying. So world hunger couldn't be solved with sharing a million dollars to everybody. I never said it would be with one person. If, if, if it gave it to everybody, that wouldn't solve shit. We'd be in the same place we're on right now. Mm-hmm. But if one person may, gave $1 billion to an organization or did it himself with the equivalent that valued at a billion dollars, it'd be ended. How? The organization would figure it out. Sure. How, what would they do? Fucking, I don't know how that shit works. I don't know. I paid you a billion dollars. <laughs> figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> what, what does the World Health Organization do? I don't fucking know. What does the Red Cross do? I don't know. FEMA? What's that? Find every Mexican available. <laughs> no. The, the difference is if you give it to everybody, the same thing will be the same thing. It stays the same. If you give it to one person or an organization, which basically becomes a charitable donation at that point. Which is tax-free. Yeah. Then it's really up to them. I mean, he could just do oh, it himself. I don't close my tabs unless it's porno. Hey, thank you. Hey. Beer. What are you? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm getting, like, hit up with all these messages because my shit was closed. Hey, you closed it. They're just talking to each other, really. Cool. Awesome. Um, we are solving global issues, yes. I don't mean to be like this. I just always get like this. And I was trying to get Josh to talk. Now I'm like, fuck, wait. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> Because money's just there anyway. <laughs> I say the difference is the amount of people that hold the money. <clears throat> Come on, Josh. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Not today. Not on camera. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, I'm just saying it's just, it's crazy. It's a, it's a dumb concept because everyone's like, print more money. And then it's just like, oh... There's a lot of money printed. It's just all held by... There's money being printed right now. Yeah. But money has it... never stopped being printed. Shh. Okay, I never said it. Damn. I never said it's you did. It. I'm just right, saying. Right. It's okay. Um, but I was saying, like, it's all just being held by, like, the super rich. So that's why... An excess. An excess, for sure. So everyone holds money. Yeah, I'm holding a dollar right now. Exactly. There you go. But... <sighs> It's just dumb and it hurts my yeah. brain. But like your tiny brain. You don't have an economics degree to figure that shit out. Neither do you, motherfucker. Yeah, dude. It's on paper. It's right over there. <laughs> and what what we've learned today is that if it's on paper, it doesn't make it valuable. Burr! It depends. If a lot of people have it, it's not valuable. Lawyered. What? If a if everybody in the if everybody in the United States had a bachelor's degree, women and children too. Wow, I'm so glad you decided to move women in that. That is so... They've only been able to go to college for like the past 70 years. That is so brave of you, Josh. Wow. Do you guys hear that? 70 years. Josh thinks women should be able to go to school and I pursue do. education. Yeah. Wow. I would have just said if everyone and then implied everyone. Man, woman, and child. If every man, woman, and child had a bachelor's degree. Well, they gave one to you, so that counts for at least... Two of those categories. There we go. Man, child. My pronouns are he, him, standard, factory issued. <laughs> Floor model. <laughs> Floor model pronouns. But if everybody got a bachelor's degree, that wouldn't mean shit. It's a saturated market. Yeah, you would need a master's at least to stand out. A master's would be the equivalent of having a bachelor's right now. And then everyone gets a master's and then what do you go to? Nothing. A doctorate. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> and then what do you do after your doctorate? Nothing. Probably have kids and tell them to go get their doctorate. <laughs> Masters plus one. <laughs> just, just add stat bonuses. You prestige your degree. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. <laughs> I just like how the 
Brazilian you pizzas. Close the fucking, oh, <laughs> you know, why won't you be happy? What saying, is wrong with your life? Ghost, what is inherently wrong with having pizza? Nothing. Ghost, I just want to comment on it really quick and you shut the fuck up. Ghost Hand was like, look at Brazilian pizza. And then we started yeah. talking about fucking something else. And now I have pizza on my screen. Can you shut the fuck up? So no, I, can I can't. I have, a, I have an obligation to speak into a microphone to entertain the masses on a podcast. It's my job to not shut the fuck up, Josh. Okay. That's why you hired me. Oh my God. That's what do you pay me for? I don't pay you to do shit. Why don't you pay me, Josh? I'm doing a because good job right now. I don't now. have any money. I'm always talking, and I'm always doing a good job. You said, Alec, just talk on the podcast nonstop. You're just nonstop. doing a job. I know. Go ahead. <laughs> you <laughs> said Google Brazilian pizzas. You did, and I like how it's still there. You haven't closed the tab. I told one him of, to get, I told one him to get back to it. has M&M's and pudding <laughs> in the middle. One has egg and fucking, I don't know. Egg on pizza is really good, okay? First of all. I it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's that one I keep looking at. Google it. You could show. Them. Oh my god! <laughs> you got to show them. All right, we're finally gonna get to the Brazilian pizza section segment of the show. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god! Do you Australians have weird pizza? This is the one I keep fucking looking at, with M and M's and pudding in the middle, but which looks like, fucking delicious. They're all like cut up into like four sections. It's like. If you ever went to CC's uh, and got pizza, they're like, do you want... This one has flan in the middle. <laughs> it's flan? Flan. Flan? Flan? Same shit. This one's got it's a all car tire. Delicious. Costan, are you proud of this? Mm, I don't think he is. Yeah, we are moving up in the this world, man. basically a waffle. <clears throat> um, Jesus. Liquor. I'd drink that pizza. <laughs> you gotta eat it. I'd eat that pizza. You gotta eat the bottles. Yeah, flan. Flan. Well, he says pronounce flan. 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 Spelled flan. That's what I thought. Is that a fucking mint? They just like putting shit in the middle. Yeah. That's normal. That's good. That looks pretty good. Um, and Italians hate us for putting pineapple on pizza, dude. There's a fucking garden salad on that one. Oh. What the <laughs> fuck is that? Is that a cow's dong? <laughs> it's a Cornish game hen. The fuck? It's bait, tiny bird. Imagine cutting that with the fucking pizza cutter. That's horrifying. You just pick at it. These are war crimes. These are. Anyway. Well... Are you happy I can close my tab now? Yeah, I just, I didn't know why he still had it out open. Because I told him we'd get back to the pizza thing. And I'm glad we did, because I'm way lost in this chat. I guess I'm going <laughs> to scroll up like a little bit and find it, but who cares. Uh, what else do I have written down? Um, so the billionaire thing was a good one. I just have that If you had a man thing. cave, okay, and you were married, and you put a urinal in that man cave, is that sexist? No. They, oh, well, first of all, <laughs> I'm going to take two stances. No, it's not. Because in a man cave, only men are allowed in there. Men. But that is inherently sexist because you're not allowing women in the man cave. But the urinal, no. <laughs> it's not the urinal that makes it sexist. It's the sign that says no girls allowed that yeah. makes it sexist. I have that written on my Minecraft house, too. Do you? Yeah. I have it written on my house <laughs> in real life. You live with all women. All women. <laughs> <laughs> no girls allowed. And they all came in. It's just on your door. Yeah. A piece of notebook paper. <laughs> no girls allowed. Be sideways. How funny would that be if I did that one day? I just taped some fucking post in my door, like, no girls allowed. I was like, what the fuck is this? You're going to come home to one of them inside there at least. Oh, for sure. And that's the trap. Act of defiance. <laughs> if, if fucking, if Beans is watching this, that's how you pick up women. <laughs> he was asking about that. Tell them you're not, they're not allowed somewhere. Mm. I would fucking hate it if you just suck my dick right now. I'd hate it. The worst. Ugh. Really? The old <laughs> reverse psychology. Yeah, it would be the worst. Who created that? It would, it would destroy me. Just suck the soul out of me. Mm. Nice. Mm. Love it. These are pretty good. These are, I, I'd say they're a little less good than 
the uh, sleeveless tee, but very good, very similar. Reverse psychology was first conceived by scientists named Adorno and Hawk and Hawkheimer. DiGiorno, Tony Hawkheimer. They huh? developed the reverse psychology theory in which people respond to the opposite of what they want to do. <clears throat> Can you read more on that? I'm actually super interested. Sure. Hmm. Read on to discover more. According to Cambridge, <clears throat> it's a method of trying to make someone do what you want by asking them to do the opposite and expecting them to disagree with you. All right, well, stop reading. I don't care anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Foiled! <laughs> Reverse psychology only works on the weak-minded. Very simple people. You will keep people. reading. <laughs> Very simple people. Jedi mind trick their asses. I think it's, I think it's got to be a level uh, lower than that. It's gonna be like stubborn people or combative people who would be like, don't like, do that. Isn't and, that and, in and, essence and, pretty simple people <clears throat> to get get so combative? But but if we can if we could label it with like a character trait instead of like smooth brained. Simple. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> a character trait. Smooth brained. Yeah, I guess. Said the fucking smooth-brained. Said the combative person. Did you just reverse psychology, my ass? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. But a new wrinkle has formed. Not on your brain. On oh, mine. I was going to say, I feel it. Turns out, yeah, it wasn't on mine. Damn. That was like three levels deep. That was like two levels deep. Yeah, because you can't comprehend the third one. <laughs> I'll drink to that. For pink lemonade, it is still vaguely just lemonade. It just tastes. Like, I mean, what <laughs> what it, what is the difference between regular lemon? What makes it pink? I think there's more sugar in pink lemonade, right? It's a little sweeter, a little more sour. It's gonna be more sour. Sour? Yeah, I was I was thinking of the taste of pink lemonade as opposed to like regular lemonade. The difference between pink lemonade and lemonade is that pink lemonade has added color variants that give it the pink color, whereas lemonade is the beverage that doesn't have any added color. That's so, the only difference. So, color? Color. That's it. It's the same shit. That's the biggest fucking scheme of the world. That's like when you put the small fries and the medium fries and the medium fries and the large fries and it's all the same size fry. But it's not. But with color. It's like... It's like, can I have a small fry? And they give you a blue bag. And you're like, can I have a medium fry? And they give you a red bag. But it's the same amount of fries. I mean, if you just dump it in, yeah, and don't shake it and make it go all the way to the bottom, it'll be the same. But we did it. We know. Yeah. The drinks, though, that's different. The drinks are fucking... Well, it's all the ice. If you, get it, if you get it with no ice, sure. Well, the small fits in the medium, the medium fits in the large. But either way, you have to, you have to fill it with ice. No, it's just no ice. Really? Yeah empty small been, fits in a medium it's been a while since i ran that experiment saw it online <clears throat> so well, either way if you ordered it, if you ordered it without ice you would still get more because the ice takes, it takes up. up space yes. so more volume is lost with ice <clears throat> so if you did want more just order your drinks without ice so yeah pink lemonade is just regular lemonade this says in most cases pink lemonade is regular lemonade with added cranberry or raspberry juice there you go. It's nothing and added cranberry and raspberry what juice. What exactly is pink lemonade? Rose-tinted beverage made from lemon's juice. Lemon juice. Sugar, water, and some sort of red or pink dye. So Depends on who makes it. So if your grandma makes you some pink lemonade, get some lemonade, stir the lemonade. Gets the fucking color drops, droppers of red. <laughs> drops food dye into it, stirs it some more, and goes, I made you pink lemonade. That's like an artsy, fartsy cover-up of like, look what I did. I Where, did something different. Whereas you add like, well, even if you added strawberries, that'd be strawberry lemonade. <laughs> yeah. If you added anything else that would be a flavor, it would be... You'd get raspberry lemonade. It would be completely different. Why is In-N-Out lemonade pink? <laughs> beverage is colored with more natural ingredients like cranberry juice, raspberry juice, crushed strawberries, or red food dye. Or. 
So it's fucking one of the four. But they're not going to tell you. Of course not. Damn. We've exposed the lemonade industry. <laughs> Which, let's be honest, nobody was asking in the first place. No, but I think we could open up the eyes to people. Just get regular lemonade. It's the same shit. I love how we're just We should like, blind taste test that. That would be interesting. Yeah. It's just pink dye. Which is red and what? It's not a lot of red. Uh, it says the pink lemonade is made up of lemons that have slightly pink textured flesh. So like this. But it's still just lemons. It's like when you grow plants like... um. Trash man's just now coming. Yeah, I know. Everyone's fucking up. We we moved all the shows to post three o'clock so we could avoid the the landscapers and the trash man and now everyone just changed their schedule to fit into us. And there he goes. Um it's like blue raspberry doesn't exist. Yeah, it's just blue flavored. That flavor. What uh, blueberry is the only blue fruit. Yes, it is. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. How'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> like, why'd that happen? What? How did they evolve to be like blue to blend in? I mean, and how did plants evolve? Like, do they? Is their idea to like not get eaten by animals for a certain length of time so they change colors? To be fair, evolution Shut takes up! place. <laughs> evolution takes place over the course of like thousands if not millions of years billions of seconds just it just takes yeah. billions of seconds it takes a couple billion seconds it takes billions of seconds um and really blueberries aren't really blue they're more of like a purplish kind of oh you're gonna you take that road you take the high road yes why blueberries blue type it exactly that i was planning to and you fucking smell blueberry wrong blueberries aren't actually blue but deep purple Wow, that's what I said. Shut up! You're right, though. Which is the color of... Uh, I can't read that. Anthocyanin? <clears throat> Correct. Just say it faster. Anthocyanin. There you go. A pigment that is especially rich in blueberries. Humans have evolved to be attracted to and want to eat colored foods. A good rule to follow is the darker the berry, the more anthocyanin... The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, motherfucker. <laughs> <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> Blackberries are really good. Yeah. Very sweet juice, I hear. Good rule of thumb. So there are no blue fruits. Just dark fruits. <laughs> just purple fruits. They're just all... And red fruits. Purple, red, green. So there's grapes. Yellow. So blueberries aren't the only blue fruit. There is no blue fruit. Blueberries are the just most... Dark purple fruit, light purple fruit. They're the, the, the most plums are darker purple. They're the most different colored purple fruit that we've seen. <laughs> nah, plums. What's up, freshly bathed? How's it going? Hey, how's it going bathed? in Canada land? Canada, oh Canada, land that I love. That's the American one. Cool. So there are no blue fruits. No blue fruit. Oh, fuck. We're fucking up the whole industry right now, bro. Pink lemonade is just regular lemonade. Ugh! With And the food Rockefellers. <laughs> and inflation's a lot. Are holding all the, all the wealth in the country for themselves to eat baby duck pussy lips tacos. I don't think they have the same kind of pussy lips. Ducks. Okay. While we're on the topic of money and shit. The one thing that's happening internationally and globally in the world that I, I, I jotted down as a note to talk about is everyone's favorite topic. China trade. Slavery. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to talk about, I was prepared for the other thing. It is. It's China's trade, but it's... Oh, it's what does that have to do with slaves? So apparently China is using Uyghur immigrants as forced slave labor. Yeah, they hate the Muslims. <clears throat> and... Um, there was an American bill passed to um, ban Chinese products made with forced slavery from uh, Uyghur immigrants. Because we Re love the Muslims. Recently, yeah. And it was the, it was the first time we've put uh, trade restrictions on China. 
in like forever. Of course, they since like the eighties. Of course, they have to prove that they're not enslaving, which would be easy to do. Which should be easy to do. (laughs) Here's his W two form. But um, it's like one of those things where uh, Nike and Amazon and Apple are like, hey, Apple, (laughs) are like, yo. Don't pass that bill, please. Because they... Because yeah, then they lose money. They, they lose money because they're um, essentially making money off the sweatshops of these Uyghur immigrants. Yeah. Um, so my immediate question is, do you think that's going to make prices go up? Not for long. No? It'd... You know, pay the slaves? Well, no, but it's not that hard to falsify where it came from. It's, so gonna, a, it's a communist do government. The fake easy kind of thing about it. They're like, oh, oh, you want documents? <laughs> They'll do it legitimately. Cook the books. <laughs> but I mean, it's a communist government. They can say and fudge whatever. Not to be that guy, but that burp is the best smelling burp you've ever burped. Hey. Now I'm hungry. Oh, we gotta wait for Raul. Raul, when are you coming over? He's working. Speaking facts, pretty good new the fuck? Yeah, because fucking baby duck pussy lips. Baby duck pussy lips. The best street tacos you'll ever have. (laughs) What did I expect? Not that, I'll tell you that. That is probably cancer. That's hilarious. Don't Google. This is some reverse psychology shit. Don't Google. Don't Google. Duck pussy lips and go to images. You don't want to see that. Also assuming you have 18 plus Google filter turned off. Yeah. Do I? Yes, I do. So sweet, God yeah, damn! Yeah, don't do it. It's basically pornography. <laughs> Just wanted to see the the tacos. Didn't get it. Got a different kind of taco. We'll go one day. My treat. Cause parking. <laughs> I don't think I've ever eaten duck before. Never. Never. Um. It's like a bougie thing. There's another name for it. It goes by um, fowl or. Uh, it's waterfowl. Yeah, waterfowl. You never had any waterfowl? Mm. Anything, anything in that category? I mean, the, it's still duck, but no. Hmm. There's not that many other water birds besides geese, swans, and herons. As he names three other birds. Pelicans, that's a lot. seagulls. Turtles. That's not a fowl. Fucking. Nighthawks, whatever, dude. They swim. <laughs> Do pigeons count? They li- they're if you throw, if you, water. If you throw it in water, you'll be surprised how quickly it can learn to swim. I think every bird qualifies as a water bird. But most importantly, every bird qualifies as an air bird before it's a water bird. <laughs> Not a kiwi. So, Motherfucker, they don't have wings. What's a kiwi? We t- fucking talked about this when we were talking about the dodo. Dodo. What a useless fucking animal. <laughs> What's the most useless animal? There's a bunch of animals on the extinction uh, extinction list. Oh, the yeah. fucking kiwi! And there's the video, the picture of him like cut into a kiwi, right? <coughs> there he is. That's how I remember. They're so it. cute. They're fucking useless <laughs> though. They don't do shit. They don't have wings. They just have legs. They don't have arms. They just got two legs. And they run. Oh. <clears throat> Not extinct animals. Endangered species. Rhinos. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I just oh. fucking watch this video of a kiwi running. That's yeah, adorable. My cars. Oh my yeah, mostly that. god. It's like a dog with no <laughs> front legs. I love him. I love him. One more time. Are they extinct? No, they're just <laughs> fucking useless. It's not very efficient. It's adorable. It's like a kangaroo, but with feathers. Yeah, mostly that. They right. look so stupid. They do. They're just legs. It's, just like it's basically Doduo from Pokemon. Doduo. They're totally cute. Okay. 
Uh, let's play a game. What animal do you think is going to die first? I'm on the WWF <laughs> website. The Worldwide Federation... No, worldwildlife.org. <laughs> I was doing the wrestling thing. It's still <laughs> seared into my memory as a kid. World Wild Wildlife Wrestling Federation. That'd be awesome. The WWE. That's how you'd make money to save these fucking animals. Have them fight. Pit them against each other. <laughs> and be like, whoever wins gets the fucking donations, bro. Uh, the next one on the list to be closest to extinction. So I'm going to read all the critically endangered because there's like and I'm supposed to pick the number one. And, you, and you're going to tell me which one's going to die first and why. Okay. Armor leopard, black rhino, Borne orangutan, cross river gorilla, eastern lowland gorilla, haskbill turtle, uh, Javian rhino, orangutan, sola, sumatarian elephant, sumatarian orangutan, Sumatarian Rhino. Sumatarian needs a break. I feel like that's way more than ten. Uh, there's like four more, so chill. Uh, Chat, how many was that? Sunda, Sunda Tiger, Vaquita. I don't know what the fuck that's, that is. That's that way more cool than ten, fuck. man. There's two more. Relax. You said ten. I, I said like ten. I can't focus on all these different animals. There's literally one. There's a, there's a, what, what do we learn? There's a lot of gorillas and orangutans, <laughs> and, and Sumeria needs a break, all right? So, orangutan, orang there's no G. Let's just say the uh, Sumerian orangutan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, so I'm reading 17, Sumi. Western that's lowland. Way more, I don't even, I've never even fucking heard of all these animals. You know what, you know what's way more than 10? A billion I'm reading 17. Suck my ass. You you could deal with seven extra. The what? turtle. The turtle's number one. So you do remember. That's uh, it. I don't know what it's fucking called. I just heard no turtle. That's it. There's a bunch of gorilla types, and then the last one is a porpoise. I say the porpoise. You, re you literally have the list. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Which one do you want to die first? The turtle. Josh? You want the turtle to I die said the first? Turtle. Yes. Let's look up the because turtle of straws. Because this is straws. Awesome. The hawk hawk's bill turtle. That actually sounds kind of cool. They're not even ranked. Yeah, they're they're ranked top to bottom. Oh, uh, those were you want to know the ranking of them? So you read it in order. Yeah. Then one, the first two, one. Three, four, five, six. You you chose number six. <laughs> not bad out of seventeen. Hawksbill turtle. You should have randomized the order. <gasps> They're beautiful. Yeah, it's a sea turtle because of straws. Boom. I'm what? right. What? Those are beautiful animals. As I still have a picture of Doo Doo up. Doo Doo. That's a kiwi. What the fuck? Those are beautiful turtles, man. If you want to invest in something, buy a hawk's bill turtle. <laughs> nah. Keep it as a pet, and then when it dies, you will have probably one of the last ones ever. And then sell it for a lot of money. Nah. Nah. I don't think the leopard's going to die first, though. I think it will. If it's number one on the list, and the WWF probably doesn't fuck that shit up. It actually was, and I just found out. Uh, I a river dolphin. I didn't have it actually ordered properly. It's alphabetical. Dumbass. <laughs> How'd you fuck that up? I had the wrong thing. Clicked. What does it matter? It means you're probably right. Turtles probably will die. They're gonna drown in the water, bro. Like the straws in their face. What? African wild dog number two. <laughs> Endangered. Endangered, vulnerable. That's so crazy. Near threatened. <clears throat> Could you imagine what sets those guidelines to where you're like, is it endangered? You're like, it's near endangered. What was the last thing to go extinct? Oh, good question. I think we looked this up recently, haven't we? Then you should remember. It was like a bear. I can't read. Ah, oh, the parakeets. Turtle. The Pinta Giant Tortoise. That's number one. 
thing's ugly as fuck. Number two, Splendid Poison Frog. Good. Three, a macaw. No, oh, macaw. Uh, an ibex. That's cool. A rat. Good. Hope they all die. The black rhino. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> a tree snail. <laughs> that sucks. A bird. A poo oily. A weird ass looking dolphin. <clears throat> a bod by a G. Those are the dolphins that poke the uh, the puffer fish <laughs> and harass them. <laughs> they get high. Mm-hmm. The Maui Akepa. A bird. That bird looks dead. <laughs> and then uh, another the bird. What the fuck is that? Like oh a, my god. It's a waterfowl. <laughs> Baby duck pussy lips. Oh! These are protected. Who's if this guy? Amongst you. If you see one on the beach, you're not allowed to touch it. You're what not. if I'm trying to give it a hug? Is there something coming out of that guy's nose? It looks like a snake. Regardless. Do you have anything else? Well, that was like... Regardless, I thought you were going to say something. No. Oh. The only thing I have is that bar restrooms are the worst. Wow. We could talk about that. Because when we went to Take 5 that one time, during the middle of the day, and I went pee twice. Yeah. It's literally just the <laughs> shittiest bathroom ever. Nope, that's it. Got them all out of the way. We just have the blind taste test, and then we have that modification to the blind taste test, which you suggested with... Lemonade. 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 Uh, ugh. <laughs> well... Beer bong. Ah! Close the shower with a beer bong. He saw it coming. He saw it coming from a mile away. I'm going to blow my nose again before I vomit. Pussy. Pussy. Y'all trying to kick it? Well, if Raul is getting dinner with us. You should come too. Yeah, but it depends on him. Shy guy, come through. Just come to Josh's. We don't know yet. We're, we're telling he, Raul to pick a place. He is picking food. We'll let you hit the bong. Yeah, I mean, if you want, try it out. Have you ever done a beer bong? Me? No. no. <laughs> Not you, stupid. trick is to pour it slowly. Phantom, you don't work right now, dude? <laughs> oh, when you first turned 21, you did a beer bong? I was going to say, because if you just at work <laughs> having to shoot a beer bong and you can't even see us, props to you for knowing what our tone of voice sounds like before we end the show. Well, yeah, it's just silent. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you have anything else? No, do you? <laughs> Off today, nice. Yeah, well, uh, I'd say just come through. We'll get some get some dinner. Make it a boys' night. Yeah. Foam. All right, let my let my foam settle a little bit longer. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. Tastes like bananas again. It after the it's whatever's in there makes it taste like bananas. Citrus. Yeah. I'm gonna. Watch us do the, the beer bong live as we do a beer bong. There's literally that monitor over there. <laughs> that's like not what they're seeing, though, because see what they're seeing? That's what they're that's seeing. That's still what we see. It's what they see eventually. Doesn't matter. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Well, I guess here's how we close out the show. So cheers to, I guess, Canada, Brazil, and New York. Australia, don't Th forget them. And Australia. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. <sighs> Goodbye. Tune in Wednesday. <clears throat> We're disgusting. Yeah. Bye.